Welcome to Excel, DFI, Thruster, and Gen 7 Engine Management Systems. And now, here's your host, Mark Remmel. Hi, my name is Mark Remmel, and I'm an Excel Emic here in Central Florida. Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to install and tune an Excel Thruster Series Engine Management System. I've been in Excel Emic for about four years now, and during that time, I've had the opportunity to install and tune about 20 different applications. Some of my most recent ones I have here today. I want to also let you know that these are not paid actors, as you'll probably see by our lack of acting skills. These are, in fact, real customers with real applications. We're out here today, as I mentioned, with some of my most recent tunes. This right here is my car, which happens to be a 1972 Oldsmobile. I installed Excel system on this some years back, about four or five years ago. Needless to say, it runs perfect. Very, very happy with it to begin with. The next one we have here today is this 1980 El Camino and its owner, Rick. Rick, why don't you tell us a little bit as to why you wanted to put Excel or had wanted felt the need to put the Excel system on your car? Well, it wasn't running well. It was only getting about six miles to the gallon and uh, we had to do something with it. So I got hooked up with Mark and he told me about the Excel system and uh, we put it on and it's been running fine ever since. Uh, gets about 15 in town and 20 on the road. And what kind of gas did you run into before? 93 it? octane is all it would burn. And now you're burning? And now I'm burning regular. How's it run? Runs fine, no problems. That was, this came with the original GM computer and we since, as he mentioned, switched it out with the Excel. This one has a, actually has an Excel a Gen 7 on it, which is the big brother to the Thruster series. If you feel the need after purchasing a thruster series for extra tunability or extra features, as the Gen 7 has a few extra features than the thruster, you can ex go to the website, excel-dfi.com, and contact your local Excel dealer. They'll do an upgrade for you with no problem. So the next one we have here today is Bob and his 1935 Chevy truck. And this is equipped with a 400 small block Chevrolet, a pretty stout camshaft and a lot of other modifications. Bob can give you his reasons as to why he went with the Excel system. I, I originally wanted fuel injection anyway just because of the performance. Uh, I'm a gearhead because of, because of the horsepower increase. Uh, we figure we're pushing right around 650 horsepower right now. Uh, the car doesn't really... It, it, I mean, I got a brand new F-150 Ford pickup. I mean, this thing, this thing runs, if not as good or better. I mean, it, I just start it up and, and away you go. You know, there's no warm-up to it. Uh, talking about warm-up, it runs about 30 degrees cooler. It used to run like 180, 185. It runs around 150 right now. This car goes to a lot of shows. I wanted it to be unique, uh, which it is. I mean, it, it, when it goes to a show, they're, they're not really looking at the truck. They're looking at the engine. And everybody walks up to me and goes, what is that? I go, that's fuel injection. Oh, you know, and, and, and then they'll start quizzing from there. You know, and to be perfectly honest with you, it's flawless. It doesn't make a mistake. It does everything right exactly the way it's supposed to. The next car that we have here today is this 1976 Trans Am. Now, this car is featured in Pontiac Enthusiast Magazine as a project car. The person who spearheaded the project and can tell us a little bit more about it is here today, and that's Chris McDonald. Thanks, Mark. This Trans Am belongs to Dr. Andrew Hall. He was looking for the best of both worlds. Now this particular car is running something a little unusual. We have a 241 rear gear, mm -hmm. a 700R4 transmission with lockup, yes. and right. a Pontiac 400 with custom uh, aftermarket aluminum cylinder heads. Now you can already see the problem, and that is how is this thing going to go down the road at 1500 RPM at 70 miles an hour if you don't have total tunability? That's correct. So our desire for this system was to find something that would give us low end torque, tuning capability, upper end high performance, and steady cruising capacity in terms of uh, minute adjustments. And so right now we have total drivetrain control between the torque converter, the electric cooling fans, the air conditioning system on the vehicle. It's a complete package to give you the modern muscle in a vintage machine. And with a 241 gear in the back of this car, it's not exactly a neck snapper, is it? But it still has brisk acceleration though, doesn't it? Well, that's the part that'll surprise you. This car will blow the back tires off. Not a problem. There's nice. no bogging, there's no stalling. It gets it done and it cruises down the highway like a kitten. Fantastic. This last application I like to mention is this 1968 Mustang Fastback. This project was done by Palm Beach Hot Rods in West Palm Beach, Florida. 
The owner of the car saw an advertisement in a magazine for a mass air type system that said, and I quote, no laptop tuning required, end quote. He bought the system, had Palm Beach Hot Rods install it, and for months they toyed with it and could never get it right. They had multiple chip changes, that's right, chips. It was old technology that still used chips in their ECM. Didn't idle well, and low speed drivability was absolutely horrible. Palm Beach Hot Rods contacted me. I in turn put a system in Excel, thruster series ECM on it, along with an Excel dual sync distributor that enables it to fire in total, true sequential. And now the gentleman who owns this car is ecstatic with the way it runs. He swears it never run better, and he's very, very happy with the car. So my point is this, when you see these advertisements for no laptop tuning required, that's a bad thing. Being able to tune your car with a laptop and being able to precisely map out your fuel and spark tables will help you, not hinder you. That's a great example of the benef one of the benefits of the Excel Thruster Series system. One thing that all these cars have in common is they all started out with a mechanically sound base. In other words, the engines were in good shape to begin with. If you have the wrong camshaft, cylinder heads, intake manifold, whatever, for your application, the fuel injection is not a fix-all. It's not going to make it better. These systems are made to enhance an already good running vehicle. If you have leaking valves or piston rings, again, it's not a fix-all. As you can see, we have three different makes of vehicles here. The Excel engine management system will precisely control the fuel and spark timing needs of virtually any vehicle in use today, from four-cylinder imports to domestic V8s and just about everything in between. Okay, with that said, let's go on inside and see what's involved in setting up and installing an Excel Gen 7 or Thruster Series engine management system. Today we're going to show you how to install and tune an Excel DFI Thruster Series engine builder's kit. Virtually everything that you need to convert any vehicle from a carburetor to EFI, like we just saw outside, is included in this kit. First off, you have a Excel DFI engine management computer, Thruster Series computer. This product is uh, not only an engine management system, but to some extent a vehicle management system as well. Not only does it give you the ability to custom tune your fuel and spark curves, but also has the ability to power up multiple cooling fans and also lock up the converter in your GM transmission as well as many other features. Beyond that is a single channel wideband O2 controller and data logger. This in fact also not only controls the wideband function of the ECM, but also gives you the ability to data log 16 channels of information at any one time. It also has some programmable outputs and inputs as well. Communication cable for the data logger, your software, and this is for the ECM and the data logger both. Communication cable for the ECM. Probably the next most significant piece in this kit is in fact the manifold and throttle body setup. When you order these kits, and this kit is for a small block Chevrolet, other kits are available for big block Chevrolet, 302 and 351 Windsor Ford, uh, other small block Fords. What you'll, what you'll get is it's set up just like this. It has the TPS already on it, it, has the IAC already on it. Again, it will come somewhat assembled just as you see it here with any size injector that is good for your application. This one in particular is, has 30 pound per hour injectors. You can order anything down to 21, 24. You can also go up to 160 depending on your application. If it's blown, if it's a large cubic inch, cubic inch displacement application, anything is possible. You have the ability and the uh, option of, of uh, substituting different size air valves, throttle bodies. This in fact is a 1000 CFM throttle body. They also offer a 1350 throttle body as well as a 1550 CFM throttle body. When installing the intake manifold, make sure that you tighten all fasteners to manufacturer specifications, as well as using new gaskets and sealers. Comes with a vacuum reference a fuel pressure regulator, an appropriate size fuel pump, again, depending on the injector size that you're running at that point, Excel DFI Digital 6 ignition box, Excel DFI coil, sensor pack, which will have your MAP sensor, your engine coolant temp sensor, and your engine.